When steel is left exposed to water, it rusts. This is a chemical change. The metal reacts with water to form a metal oxide. This is a different substance with completely different properties. It's broken down into a crumbly, weak oxide. This is a rear brake cylinder in a car. Moisture in brake fluid has rusted the surface. It may not look like much, but brake fluid can leak past the piston. This could mean brake failure. Very occasionally, surface rust is used for artistic effect. This Picasso and the building behind it are made of a steel containing a little copper. It is designed to form an oxide coating that protects the steel and has no need for painting. Steel is often protected from rusting by dipping it in molten zinc. This is known as hot dip galvanizing. The zinc oxide protects from further corrosion. Here, sheet steel is being coated with molten zinc, an aluminium alloy, zincolum. Chromium plating works the same way. A layer of chromium oxide prevents corrosion. So, when you are choosing a steel for a job, you need to consider the properties of the steel and work out which is the best for the job. Of course, cost will always be a factor. It may be cheaper to simply replace bits, or make the steel thicker and let it rust. Or perhaps the cost of having a critical machine fail may be so high that the cost of the material in the part will be insignificant, and you can choose the very best. <laughs>